Number 61. If the gauge pressure inside a rubber balloon with a 10 centimeter radius is 1.5 centimeters of water, what is the effective surface tension of the balloon? All right, so first thing is, right, we probably would be best to try to figure out what formula we're using. They are asking us to calculate surface tension. They're giving us a radius, right? So, and we're probably, and they gave us a pressure, just not in the right units. So most likely we'll be using this formula down here on the right-hand side. Now this formula is specific for a spherical object and uh, we are to assume that the balloon will be a perfect sphere. Obviously it's not in reality, uh, but you know, whatever. So here, let's write the formula down. So the pressure is gonna be equal to four multiplied by our surface tension, all divided by R. Let's solve this for the surface tension, meaning the, the gamma. All right, uh, so this is gonna be basically, then the surface tension will be equal to the pressure times the radius, all divided by uh, four. Now, we know the radius, they told it to us in centimeters, we can just convert that to meters, that's straightforward, but the pressure now, right? We need this in terms of Pascal, but they gave us in centimeters of water. Now this sounds confusing, you might be thinking, well, how do I do this conversion, this is nuts. It's actually, you can do the conversion by using this formula down here uh, on the right-hand side. All right, this formula down here relates pressure to the height of an object as a function of its uh, density, right? So we're talking about water. So in terms of the pressure that a 1.5 centimeter column of water will exhibit, is exactly equal to the height of that water, which is 1.5 centimeters, but remember we need it in terms of meters, multiplied by the density of water. Now we're assuming this is fresh water. It doesn't say otherwise, so let's assume it's fresh water uh, in kilogram per cubic meter, and then multiplied by gravity. So basically, I can just take this and substitute it right on in for my pressure in that equation. So now it looks like this. The surface tension will be equal to the height uh, multiplied by the density, multiplied by gravity, multiplied then by the radius, all divided then by four. So let's plug in the values. Okay, the height in meters of the water column. So this is 1.5 centimeters. We just gotta you know, move the decimal two places to the left or divide by 100. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna move the decimal this time, 1.015. That's gonna be it in terms of meters. The density of the water, fresh water is 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Gravity is 9.8. And the radius then they told us was 10 centimeters, but we need that in terms of meters. So just move the decimal two places to the left, so 0.1, and then divide it by four. And all we need to do now is calculate, right? So now we'll get our gamma value. So it's gonna be 0 0.015 times 1,000 times 9.8 times 0 0.1, and then divide that whole thing by 0.4, uh, not 0.4, but by four. And we get a value here of 3.68 or so, right, considering rounding. And now that is going to be, so the units of surface tension are in newtons per meter. Okay, if you use all your standard units, which you should be using in your calculation, these are the units newton per meter. You can also remember here is the surface tension formula. Notice how it's force per unit length. So that's force, you know, in newtons per length in meters. And there we go, voila. So guys, hope this helped. Please give us a hand, hit that subscribe button, like button too. We appreciate it very much, and we'll look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.